Yo guys, Spotterbot here. We got a completed guide here for you today for the Origins Blue Staff of Ice. We're going to show you how to get all the parts, assemble it, and to complete the challenges to upgrade it to the Ultimate Staff. So we're going to start off here by showing you all the part locations, the first of which is going to be the Blue Record. The Blue Record can be found in the Tank Station, which is right near Generator 2. As soon as you enter the tank station, the first location for the record is on a table directly across from the entrance. The second spot is on a shelf directly to the right of the box location. Third spot is in the back by where you pick up the Brofist stone on another shelf, and that's the third and final location for the record. It will always be in one of those three. All right, now we got to get the staff components. How do you get the staff components? Well, they're only available for the ice staff via dig locations, and also, they're only available when it's snowing. I mean, it's an ice staff. It makes sense. If it's raining and you dig up a dig site, you cannot get a blue staff component, all right? It has to be snowing, and, you know, chances are you're not going to get all components before, like, round five, let's say, all right, because of the changing environment conditions in the game uh, on this map Origins. So anyways, just keep digging when it's snowing, and eventually you will find all three staff parts like we did just now. Now, the blue record isn't really required for assembly of the staff, but it's required in order to open the portal to get the crystal that is required to assemble the staff, all right? So you need a gramophone from the dig site, and the blue ice staff portal is over by the church. So we're going to go down here. We're going to place the gramophone on the table. It's going to play the blue record. We're going to go through the blue portal, and we're going to grab the crystal. And that's the fourth part required in order to assemble the staff. Now we can go down to the dig site, and we can create our ice staff. How epic is that? So that's great. We have the ice staff, but we want the ultimate ice staff. So the next step is to complete the riddle in the crazy place. Now, remember that this can be completed. You don't have to have all the other staffs assembled. You can fully assemble and upgrade one staff at a time if you want. So what we have to do here is match up the ternary dot and circle symbols that appear on the pillar with their corresponding cuneiform symbol on the ceiling and when you find the matching symbol all you do is shoot it with the ice staff and the symbol turns so that it's no longer facing down and you're progressing to completing the riddle for the ice staff now what we've put together for you here is a listing of all the ternary symbols their integer equivalents and the corresponding cuneiform symbols the ternary symbols are also used in the fire staff challenge not in the crazy place but once you've completed the Crazy Place Challenge in the church, uh, it identifies, the ternary symbols identify which numbers uh, of the pillars that you have to light up uh, for the, the torch sconces down below in the bottom of the church. But for our purposes here, we have the ternary symbol, all 12 of them, and I believe there are only 12, and they equate to integers from 0 through to 11. Um, and then those, therefore, equate to a cuneiform symbol. And you can actually see the pattern evolve from 2 to 11 in the creation of the, uh, the cuneiform symbols themselves. And these cuneiform symbols are also used to complete the Crazy Place challenge for the, uh, the wind staff. So we're back to the crazy place here, and we're just going to complete the challenge here on my solo run through. Now, what I would suggest is um, if you go back to where I showed that image in the video and uh, make the video larger and take a screenshot, maybe print that out for your future use um, when you're actually completing this challenge and playing on Origins. Uh, or you can just go to my Twitter feed. I did tweet it out uh, earlier, uh, that image, so you can go to the feed and get it there. Now we're not quite done. We completed the riddle in the crazy place or challenge or whatever you want to call it. Now we have a challenge uh, outside on the regular map. Now there are these three tombstones and they're all have water flowing on them. What you have to do is freeze the water and then destroy the tombstone. One over there in the footprint by Jug. One over here by the footprint uh, Jug side but closer to the dig site. And then the, uh, the third tombstone that has flowing water on it 
is over by the tank station here on the far side. And we're just going to freeze that one and destroy it. And that completes our ice staff challenges slash riddles. So what the heck did we accomplish? Well, now there's this round crystal that's sitting at the bottom of the dig site. And you see these four discs. Well, we have to align it so that that blue crystallized part of each disc is sitting in sequence above that round blue crystal. So basically, we just have to use these switches that here are here on the platforms in order to rotate them into the correct position. You can see the indicators. I mean, we have uh, yellow, we have orange, and we have red, and then blue indicators on each disc to indicate that, yes, it is now in the correct position. All four of them has, have to be blue. And then we go down to the bottom of the dig site, and we have to fire our ice staff at the round crystal, and that sends it to the crazy place. All right, we must be done by now, right? No, 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 we're not done. Now you have to take the staff and you have to put it back in its slot in the crazy place and you have to charge it. You have to charge it with zombie souls. Now what I would suggest, especially if you're doing this on solo, is to assemble and complete the challenges for all the staffs except for the fire staff. Complete them for the wind staff, the ice staff, and the lightning staff. And then place them into this position and then use the fire staff and complete the fire staff crazy place uh, riddle slash challenge. Uh, which is basically killing zombies over by the the area of the fire staff. There's some bins that uh, that light up and and light up on fire when you kill zombies, and just kill them over there. And the zombie souls will travel to and and power up the staffs that are in their locations in the crazy place until they're fully upgraded to the ultimate staff. And you will get an audio cue. Uh, not only will you get uh, just like musical audio, basically, or sound effect audio. But uh, Samantha will also say something once the staff has been fully charged. And then you can walk over and simply grab the blue staff of ice. And it is now the ultimate staff of ice or all's arrow. And these ultimate staffs are pretty epic. So uh, anyways, that's it. Um, that has been our guide for the staff of ice, the build guide, assembly, upgrading to the ultimate staff or all's arrow. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope it helps. And uh, like I said, make a uh, take a screenshot of that image or uh, check it out over on Twitter. Make sure you print it out for next time when you're completing the challenge in the crazy place for the ice staff. Anyways, that's it for now. I'm Spider and I'm out.